hello my people welcome to your channel once again this is your channel bosman channel and i'm your host as usual bosman um thank you for always watching for always sharing and most importantly for your feedback you know our last video we spoke about determining or building the right company and I like some of the feedback I got from our viewers. Uh, one of my very good friends, you know, called me immediately, he saw it and he said he really loved um, the video. You know, but as we were talking, he made mention of something which I completely agree with. Because he said a lot of times we have built the right company. We know them, we have them around us. But how do we maximize those companies? is a lot of problem that I see. Maybe with people around me, maybe with myself, maybe in this video I'm learning as well. You have the right company among your friends, family, um, you know, loved ones, people around you. But how do you maximize that? How do you look beyond the immediate gain to make most of those relationships? And, and I say immediate gain, Imagine you have a billionaire as a friend, which is what some people do. And maybe you get, a, a, you know, $100, $500 to solve the immediate problems. But you want to keep going back for the same amount. Are you actually maximizing that relationship? Are you actually maximizing that company? And I will break it down into four things, you know, where I think sometimes, a lot of times we get it wrong. One of them that we need to think about is nurturing such company or nurturing such relationship. And it could come in different form, honestly. It could come in the sincere love that we show. I'm not talking of fake love, a love that comes when we need something. A conscious love that shows that we're concerned, you know, about the person's or the other company's need as well. A lot of people always show up. They show up with smiles. You know, they make the company fun. And a lot of time, we always think that they have problems of their own. So we always bring to that company or to that relationship all our problems all the time. And because they have a shoulder where we lean on, we always think that they don't need a shoulder where they can lean on as well. But some of these people also need our support. And this is where love, sincere love, we come in nurturing such relationship. Support we come in nurturing such relationship. The second thing is that what do we bring to the table? Hmm. I don't always go into a company, into a relationship, thinking the other person should be the supplier all the time. You know, there's something in my local language that we say, and I will try and say it in English that don't let your door always uh, speak, bring, 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 you know. Let it sometimes sound, um, give, give, give. You know, there's a lot of relationship, a lot of right company that we've built that we're always expecting that the other party or the other people should always bring what we bring to the table. And when I say that, I'm not talking about bringing money or bringing funds. I have a friend who every time I speak with him, he's always very encouraging and supportive, you know, always speaking to things, you know, that can help me to grow. That is bringing something to the table. Some people are excited, you know, about your success. That's bringing something to the table. What do you bring to the table? If you live in the part of the world where we live, people always talk about potluck. And potluck is about love a lot of times. So people may bring something that worth $500, $200 when you have potluck. You may bring something that worth $5, you know, $10. I've gone for a potluck where what I brought was small, but you know, they still told me, you mean, you if you didn't bring anything, we'll have been fine with that, you know, but they appreciated what I brought to that potluck. That's how relationship is. 
always ensure that you bring something to the table and let make let make it a conscious effort you know the third thing that we talk about is learning to ask right question and i also say is like learning and relearning if you are with like i said a billionaire friend you have friends who are upward mobile who are doing great things you know are you asking the right questions are you learning the right things or are you distracted with other side things you know we can go partying together you know we can drink we can have fun we can eat together but are you learning are you picking from their growth pattern what they are doing to be successful I remember a story when we were growing up. There is a guy who went to a friend. He needed money. He got to the friend and they started eating. They started drinking. They started, you know, doing merriment, you know, having fun. And along the line, another friend came in and asked the rich guy that he needed money. The guy gave him the money that he had. And that's all he had at home. So when the other one went out, the one that first came said, I came to ask you for money. The rich guy said, oh, that's all I had at home. You've been here for a while. You didn't ask for that. The other guy came and asked for what he needed. Again, when we have opportunity, do we ask the right question? Do we learn the right things? Do we learn the way, you know, to move up and not just um, getting distracted with other uh, side things you know that are not important but lastly i will just drop this also learn that relationship comes in different forms and they come for different reasons when a relationship at it is expiry date also learn to let go Maybe the purpose why it came or the purpose why you had it has been fulfilled. Learning to let go is also a way to nurture and grow a relationship. Again, thank you for watching. Like I said, we have built the right company. How do we maximize that company? Thank you for watching us. Until we see you again, keep doing great things.